So what is my thoughts about the video of the motor on the Emotion V13 or Emotion Challenger and other information that I just put together on this video for you guys. What is my thoughts about this new wheel? If you want to know everything about it, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Medpack and if you love EUCs, PVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And today we are going to talk about the Emotion V13 or Emotion Challenger. And this is not the first video that I've done, I've done already another one a long time ago. What was the things that I was expecting to see on this one? And since we have more information and definitely I have more information here for you guys, I decided to do this video because some of the information we are not aware of, majority of you guys are not aware. So it's a few things extra besides the one that we've seen on the video. And what is my thoughts compared to what we have on the market? So some of the information that I have here, it's extra, not just what we saw on the video, but what I saw is that they will announce a battery that is able to do 200 kilometers in range with this wheel. I'm really curious to see the size of the battery. That information I couldn't find anywhere, but I'm definitely not expecting to see a wheel below, let's say 3,200 watt hours, or maybe something that we have already talked about a modular unit. And we'll talk why I continue to think that maybe this wheel will have that option. Because in the past, I have already covered that when I was doing the testing of the prototype of the Emotion V12. But uh, they said that is going to come supposedly an external battery that will be able to connect to this one. That was something that Emotion was already working on it and they was curious to know what was the price that they should put on an extra battery of 800 watt hours for the Emotion V12. So I believe that that can continue to come on the table when we talk about the Emotion V13 and why I continue to think that that can be a reality. When we talk about maximum weight is 160 kilos and definitely this is about 30 kilos more than all the competitors that you have on the market. So this will be the first time and obviously that's because for example of the rim, we're going to have a rim that is two times stronger than the one that you'll find on the Emotion V12 High Torque that is supposed to be one of the best rims on the market and 2700 kilos of pressure that that rim can support is, is simply incredible. So definitely if you are searching for a wheel that you will not have a brake rim, this one will be the best option that you'll find on the market. So when we talk about the weight is one of the things that makes me think that maybe we can have here a modular battery on this unit because this wheel should have a weight of 34 kilos. Looking to in motion, I don't see them making them very, very heavy because for them it's really important that the wheels, they continue to be thin. If you look to the Emotion V11, it's very, very thin, it's tall, but it's very, very thin. If you look to the V8F or V8S, they continue to be very thin. Even the Emotion V12 is very, very thin and very comfortable between the legs. I believe that that will continue to be one of the main things for Emotion is that it's very ergonomic to your body, but the wheel have only 34 kilos. So if you look to the competition and starting by the Veteran Abrams, that's a wheel with 43 kilos. So 43 to 34, it's nine kilos of difference. It's massive difference. And even if you look to the Big God Master, that Big God Master have 34 kilos with a very low build construction. And here you have 34 kilos. So if the first photos that we saw running around about the Emotion V13s will have bars like you have on the Abrams and will maintain a body weight below even what was the veteran Sherman, so one kilo less than the first Sherman, it's, it's an incredible thing that Emotion could put together here. And that's the reason why I continue to think that maybe that modular option that they wanted to do for the Emotion V12 will continue to be a reality maybe for this unit. And I'm very, very curious to understand if that's the reason why the Emotion V13 continue to be lighter than all of these wheels. So maybe we'll be able to see a wheel with 2200, 2700 watt hours maybe as standard. And if you want more range, you can add an extra battery pack to the top of your electric unicycle and extend that amount of range. Because obviously if you look to a wheel that is able to do 200 kilometers of autonomy, 
you are not expecting a wheel below 3200 watt hours and if you think what they've said previously they just said that this wheel was the biggest battery for an emotion wheel not the biggest battery on the market so I believe that will be below the 3,600 watt hours. So when we talk about the power of that motor, it's, it's insane. Uh, we are talking about 4,500 watts. If you think about it, the faster wheel on the market and most powerful wheel is the Bigod Master with 3,500 watts. So you have 1,000 more. And when we talk about peak, you have 10,000. And if you compare to the peak that you'll find on the Bigot Master is 4,000 of difference. So you'll get just 3,500 and 6,000 of peak on the Master and on the V13, 4,500 and a peak of 10,000. And I'm really concerned about one thing, obviously having a so powerful motor, what is the battery autonomy that you'll have on that wheel? Because if you see that small video that they've done, of how fast that wheel can go, they could show you 43 kilometers per hour. But if you look a little bit closer, you will see that when they start that video, that wheel is with 123 volts. So also that wheel was not fully, fully charged. I'm expecting at least that is a 127 volts. But if you see the wheel drops really fast from 92% to 88% or 87%, something like that. So for sure, I'm showing to you guys that. And that is a concern that I have. And if you look to the motor phase is 160 amps. So double the competition. And also they can make your motor runs cooler in 75%. It's a lot of things that they really work around to make this wheel safer. And also this one will have two wall sensors. So if one fails, your wheel will not basically crash with you on top of it. And that's really important because when we look to the build construction of Emotion, you have plenty of JST connections, okay? Plenty. So having two wall motors connect to your motherboard with two JST, if one fails or one is not connected properly, you will not crash. Obviously, you will have to replace maybe your motherboard if the GST is damaged, whatever, or maybe you can even replace just your GST. Having that possibility to have an extra feature of safety, that's definitely something that I like. And if you think about it, the market is really shifting. So looking to the wheels that they are coming out, they all come with suspension. And I have the confirmation that this wheel will also come with suspension. I'm really curious to understand if they are going to the same type of design that you'll find on these last generations like the Master, or if they go to something like the Kingsong S22 with the possibility to have even a bigger distance to make it even more comfortable. I think it's going to be more like the Master. I don't think that you will have a travel on the suspension like you'll find on the S22. And definitely, I don't want to see on this V13 the same design that you have for the wheel to go up and down on the suspension system like you have on the S22 because it's really, really poor in that subject, in that specific wheel. As you can see, guys, this is the part where the suspension goes up and down, but it gets full of mud. And obviously after a while, you are going to start having issues. I seen some people talking about it, but I, I think they, they missed the point is, if you see the video, the wheel is accelerating like crazy up to 143 kilometers per hour. So around what, 80, 586 miles per hour. That wheel never cut off. So the wheel reached the 143, it continued to be delivering that speed. And after the guy just, just released, he just stopped to accelerate the wheel. Because if the wheel was cutting off, the screen will not continue to work, yeah? It makes sense what I'm saying? So if it's showing to you guys that the speed is coming down and everything is working, I believe that what they are showing is even reaching 143 kilometers per hour, the wheel will not spin above that speed, protecting you from having a cutoff if you go above the ground and your wheel will start spinning more than the speed that you are doing that specific moment. And that is really important also to point it out. They show to us a wheel that do 143 kilometers per hour 
in free spin, but they will be selling this wheel with a wheel that is able to do 100 kilometers per hour. Obviously, if you look around, you know that the master it's announced that it's possible to do 112 kilometers per hour. Knowing how emotion is, when we talk about safety, maybe they will try to beeping for you when you reach 100 kilometers per hour. But talking about myself, I normally ride at 70 kilometers per hour, 75 kilometers per hour max. So unfortunately, something happens with the microphone, but I wanted just to give you my last thoughts. So what I was saying is I don't really care that the wheel can go 143 kilometers per hour. I will not go at those kinds of speeds and they are advertising as 100 kilometers per hour. That should be what they will put out as the safe margin that they have. So you will have 43 kilometers more to be safe riding with your Emotion V13. And for me that I normally ride at 70, 75 kilometers per hour as a maximum speed, I'm more than happy to don't go above that. But I'm aware that the wheels are getting better and better. I remember that in the past, Using my 9BOT Z10 at 43, 47 kilometers per hour was already crazy, was bananas. And now that's not a reality anymore. When I go on my Z10, it's too slow for me already. So obviously the reality today, 70, 75, it's more than enough. But my favorite wheel is the Emotion V12. So going around 67, 68 kilometers per hour is normally the speed that I do there. I'm more than happy to don't go above those speeds. But if you are going to have a suspension on your Emotion V13, man, 100 kilometers to someone that is used to go 70 is here a, a margin of 30 kilometers more. And for that, even if the wheel is safer to go in higher speeds, that's why also you see a 22 inch, I don't see the points to go 140, 120 kilometers per hour. But this is just my quick thoughts about this. If you have any comments, leave below. My name is Marco, this is Matt Pack. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you guys in the next one.